Hello everybody. How are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of English with me. Today we are going to talk about something that is the most common question asked to me by a lot of English learners. So a lot of people who I come across, they ask me this particular question and this is one of the most popular questions too that is asked by a lot of people on the internet. That is, is it possible to become fluent in 30 days? So can you really become fluent in English in 30 days? Well, that's a big question. Again, a million dollar question. And do you want to know the right answer to this question? Do you want to know, can you really become fluent in 30 days? Well, Today, I'm going to tell you all about this particular topic, all about this particular question that is coming in your mind. If yes, how, if no, why? I'm going to tell you everything. Do not worry. I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor and you're watching Speak English with Shivangi. Before beginning, please subscribe the channel so you don't miss out any lesson that I post. Also, like the video and share it with your friends. So, let's talk about fluency and becoming fluent in English in just 30 days. So, is it really possible? Think about it. What is fluency? Fluency is the ability to speak English, speak good English uh, without making so many mistakes or without getting stuck in between. Yes, that is the fluency, the confidence to speak in English, the ability to be able to have a conversation with someone in English comfortably. That's fluency for me. Now, this definition of fluency can be different for another person. For somebody, becoming fluent might be something related to academic. They might have to submit an academic paper. And if they have academic purpose, their level of fluency might be different from a person who just wants to gain fluency over normal, everyday, conversational English. If the second person's goal is to just speak in English and to be able to converse in English with the colleagues, friends, family, then the goal of this person is different. Now, another person who wants to gain success in his or her profession who wants to learn English for professional purposes business English now goal for this person might be different it can be totally different and their level of fluency or the definition of fluency might change according to their situation so this is one perspective why do you really want to learn English what is your purpose of learning English that defines what is your fluency? Plus, your level of English also defines your fluency. So, if you are at an advanced level already or you are very near to the advanced level, for example, you are somewhere between B2 and C1 level, then it might be possible for you to speak English, to become fluent in English in just 30 days. But to think that a beginner can reach fluency in just 30 days, that's like, that's too much. It's something that is not really possible. So, learning English for 30 days has its own benefits. Believe me, it can really bring a great change to your English. But just becoming fluent in 30 days is not a possibility for most of the English learners. Okay, because if you really want to become fluent in English in 30 days, then I would suggest that you have to become obsessed with English. If you really want to become fluent in English in just 30 days, I think for that you need to give 8 to 9 hours approximately to learning English, to learning various aspects of English, to practice it. But let me tell you one thing. You must have heard the story of tortoise and the rabbit tortoise and hare the thing is that if you're really going too fast 
if you're really doing something with a lot of speed, you might feel demotivated in between. You might get distracted and just trying to leap at a single point and take a big leap instead of taking slow progress, small steps can be really demotivating. Plus, it can be really that one factor which may delay your fluency because you are trying to overexert yourself. So rabbit or the hare was never able to win the race. Instead, tortoise won the race, right? He won the race. Why? Because his efforts were constant. That is something that we need. So your efforts must be constant. Even if you're going slow, that's okay. That's not something to be worried about. Instead of 30 days, why not set a goal for one year? And then see that if you can really become fluent in English in one year, which I think is more achievable goal. Okay, so if you're planning to become fluent in English in just 30 days, it really might not work for you. Because if you really want to be fluent in English in just 30 days, you have to be on the B2 level. So if you are on a B2 level and you're about to reach C1 level, for you, it'll be really easy to become fluent in English in 30 days. But someone who has to make efforts to speak English, a person who is making a lot of efforts right now to speak English, they're making lots of mistakes and they're in the beginning stages of developing the fluency. For them, the goal of 30 days is not achievable. The thing is that 30 days will work for you. It's not 30 days are not going to work for you. You have to make them work for you. How? You have to think about the progress, not achieving the end goal of fluency. How much progress can you make in 30 days? That is what matters because 30 days, that's actually huge. If you're giving one hour of learning and speaking English every day, so that means 30 hours of learning and speaking English. And at the end of the month, on the day 30, right, you will see a huge improvement. So you can definitely be closer to your goal. You can definitely get closer to the goal of becoming fluent in one month. And you can really get a lot closer to that goal in one month. If you work in the right direction with the right techniques, by utilizing the time in the correct manner, you can see a huge difference in your fluency level in a month. One month is a great time period when you're learning something for 30 days. That is, you're doing it constantly with a consistency, right? You're consistently working on your skills because English is a skill. Speaking English is a skill. Speaking any language in this world is a skill. So when you have to learn a new skill, 30 days, that's very little time period you're taking. Imagine if you want to learn how to play a piano or maybe if you're learning to skate. Now, can you really become a perfect skater in just 30 days? Can you play a perfect piano keyboard in just 30 days? No. But will you see improvement in your skills after 30 days of practice? Yes, definitely you will. Same goes with speaking a language or speaking English. So if you are, for example, let's take you are 20% level. Let's take it in a percentage so that you can understand it better. You think this is 100%. 100% is your fluency level. And when you're starting on day one, you're at 20%. You might get to 40% at the end of the month after those 30 days. Isn't that 20% a huge amount, a huge progress? So think about progress. Focus on the progress that you're making in a month, in 30 days. 
if you're learning consistently english for 30 days it can be really helpful for you believe me but do not fall prey to this notion that you can become fluent in 30 days that's a lie the truth is you cannot become fluent in english absolutely fluent in english in just 30 days because it's a process learning a skill is a process why communication skills are in high demand because it takes time it takes time to develop those skills it takes time to develop speaking skills but if you will not even start from day one how are you going to reach your end goal so you have to start someday thinking about it that it'll take so much time and then giving up on this thing is not the answer so you have to consistently work on this okay another thing that i would like to say is have patience patience is something that is required when you are learning a language and when you are learning how to speak it fluently you need to have patience because patience is virtue you must have heard this space patience is virtue yes be patient because if you want to be successful patience is the key if you want to be successful in speaking fluent english patience is the key patience and consistency both things play a very important role so be consistent and have patience have faith on yourself and patiently work on your skills work on improving your english speaking skills so i hope that now you must have got the particular answer right answer to your question that is it possible to become fluent in just 30 days answer is no unfortunately no it is not possible because it depends on your fluency level at what level you are it depends on your goal what is your goal to become fluent in english why do you really want to become fluent in english and number three very important it depends on your motivation your mindset of learning english consistency and patience they are a part of that mindset so do you really have the mindset to become fluent in english that is a big question so having the right mindset working in the right direction is very important so i'd say have patience and keep working if you'll work the progress that you're making it might be slow but you are making progress you're doing something and then real soon you are going to get fluent believe me i'm sure about it so that's the session for today this was a session for all of you i hope this helped you a lot please like the video and share it with your friends now i'm gonna see you tomorrow with a new lesson till then take care and bye